Simulating multiple toolpaths is a simple task and an easy way to verify that more than one toolpath is correct. To get started, I'll move the red insert arrow to the bottom of the operations by clicking on the red down arrow a few times. And I'll select all operations. Next, I would like to renumber the tools. So I'll right click here select Edit Selected Operations, Renumber Tool, and then I'll set the starting tool number to 1, the tool increment value to 1, and accept these settings. Notice how the tools are renumbered so that the facing operation now uses tool number 1, the first contour operation uses tool number 2, and the finish contour uses tool number 3. Now that all the tools are renumbered and all operations are selected, as you can see by the check marks. I'll simulate all the tool paths. In previous lessons I've shown you how to use both the backplot and the verify simulator, but at this point I'd like to show you a different method to activate both simulators. By clicking on the word toolpath on the facing operation, I will activate the backplot simulator and then press the play button. Now that it's complete, I'll exit the simulator. To simulate all toolpath, I'll select the second contour toolpath while holding the shift key so that all three machining toolpaths are selected. And now I can verify all operations by selecting this icon. I'll make sure the color loop is turned on. And because it has this blue background, I know it is now active. Next, I'll add the stop condition for tool change, as well as the collision. This will cause the simulation to stop after the first operation, and I'll need to click the play button again to restart it. By pressing the play button, I can simulate the facing operation. Notice how the top face turns yellow and the simulator stops telling me it was paused on the tool change. I'll click the play button again and the rough contour will be simulated. Again, notice how the contour has turned blue in color, letting me know that this was cut with a different tool. One more time, I'll click the play button. And now I know that the finish tool has cut because the wall has changed color to purple. If the color did not change, then I most likely forgot remove the stock to leave on the walls after I copied the operation. I'm happy with the simulation result. So next, I'll check the collision report and verify there were no collisions, so I'll exit the simulator. Lastly, I should update the stock model toolpath by selecting its parameters, then selecting the Source Operations tab. I'll select the first operation, and then while holding the Shift key, I'll select the second contour to add the operations to the stock model. I'll accept my changes and regenerate the stock model. And then I'll save my work.